Hey, what's going on? It's Jason from Pop City Beats. Um, this video, we're going to talk about gain staging, um, which sounds like a really boring subject, but believe me, it is not. Um, I have uh, been attempting to mix for years, and my mixes have always sounded muddy. And I'm like, I cannot figure out why, you know, when I play my mix up against a real professional uh, quality recording, what that huge difference was. Difference was, I learned what gain staging was, and that's it. Like it's the it's the secret sauce to a clean mix. So this is a really important video. Um, let me show you what it is and how you do it in FL Studio for Dummies. Uh, I'm kind of a dummy, so I make this video for you know if it was me watching it. Um, so let's let's take a look here. So this meter plugin, it's called MV Meter. And let me see if I'll, I'll open it up real quick. It is a free download, but it's a little tricky to find the download link. Sometimes, you know, there's there's a free download that you can have and then they make it impossible to find the link. So let's take a look. MV Meter, you can just Google it. Uh, yeah, I think it's two, free download. You'll probably see a link pop up that I've already hit. There we go, it's from TV Pro Audio. Absolutely free plugin. Okay, bringing it up, we're talking about it. Now, you would think that this would be the download button, right? And you click it. Oh, and it sends you to the download. I swear it didn't do this last time. <laughs> so, uh, but if, if it does not do that, it's at the bottom of the page. So whether you're on Mac or PC, you download, you unzip it, you install it, it automatically goes to your VST plugins uh, folder. So you have it available. Um, and one trick is after you load any plugin, uh, make sure you go here to the browser options in the top left, this little carrot pointing down, and click scan for, there it is, refresh plugin list, fast scan at the bottom. I'm not gonna do it now because it takes a little bit of time to do it, but what it does is it finds all of those new plugins that you just installed if you don't see them in your interface already. So, okay, that's how you do that. Now, the reason this plugin is important is gain staging is putting all of the audio levels in the sweet spot before you do post editing to your channels. Meaning, um, you know, if you look at a waveform, any waveform, uh, it's either, you know, really narrow or it's really tall. Um, and if it's tall, it means that the gain is up and you're getting more sound signal coming through in the beginning. So what this does is think of it as adjusting the height of that wave signal. So if it's a you know louder signal, it's going to be taller. And if it's a quiet signal, you can barely see it, right? The sweet spot for any recording is zero VU. So you want it to hang around. It can go a little above or a little below from time to time. but roughly hang around this uh, zero and you want to do it for every instrument. I put a different uh, every instrument on its own channel so I have full control over each instrument. I suggest you do the same uh, which means you have to do this a lot of times for every instrument but if you do it as you go along it won't be such a chore but it will be worth it in the end when you hear the difference. So uh, let's start with um, we'll start with the very first sound lo-fi synth um, and what you want to do is bring up your channel rack. And where is it? Oh, you have all audio, automation, or unsorted. Those are, um, audio is if you drag a sample directly into your playlist. Automation is, you know, volume or panning or any of the automation you have set up. And then unsorted is uh, your patterns. I'm just going to choose all. Okay, and we know it's on track one, so we know it's this sample right here. This is the volume. Track one here, track one here, this is the volume, or the gain, sorry, not the volume, the gain. What happens to the signal before you start, you know, using the faders or adding uh, plugins and effects or that type of thing. So here we go. Let's bring up our MV meter. Oh, it's not 
playing. Here we go. That's actually pretty good. So I'll play it right from the beginning. Right about zero. Yeah, that's exactly where it needs to be. So for this particular sound, gain staging is pretty close. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go through every single channel. Uh, I'm going to bounce it the way it is first. Uh, and then I'm going to bounce it after and let you hear the difference. So you just, you know, you would go to your next channel, this time main drum loop, right? Uh, you would add the MV meter, which you can, if you want to add it from another channel, you can do that just by going to the down arrow, little carrot here, save preset as, and you can drag it over to here. So now you have that same plugin. Eventually, there we go. Now let's go ahead and look at, at, at uh, track two real quick, just to get a little practice. So track two is this one. You see the number two there, and it's the number two in the mixer. All right, let's hit play. I'm fast forward a little bit. Okay, we're gonna pull it back a little bit. Still peeking pretty hard. So that's the sweet spot. So I'm going to go through every single instrument and uh, fix it, uh, do the gain staging, and I'll give you the before and after. So I'll be right back. I'm back. Um, I've done all the gain staging, went track by track, made sure that the um, the zero VU, you know, made sure it was in that sweet spot. Uh, this is the result. So I bounced it down before. And then the one after is after uh, you know I applied all of that gain staging. It's it's the key to a clear mix. You're gonna hear uh, you know like an electric guitar sound. It's gonna be muddied into the track. But then once it switches over to after gain staging, you're gonna hear a big difference. So here we go. much, much clearer, right? Um, you can hear every instrument individually, and what it does is, if you have it too high or too low, it can get muddied in its own sound. It can create these harmonics and distortions and things like that that um, you know just do not work for a clean mix. So, that's Gain Staging and FL Studio for Dummies. I hope it's been helpful. If you like this video, click like, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and you'll, you'll see more of it. All right, I'll see you at the next video.